Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Choir Master Organist at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So each day, with the help of my son Tim as my videographer, I am presenting the music of a different composer, and in each case, a composer who has had a role to play with both organizations. Today is a dear man who passed away in 2011, but was a friend who came to Minneapolis several times from London, John Gardner. He was a World War II navigator, and I love the fact that while he was uh, in the war, he had slips of paper in which he was writing down ideas because he wanted to write his first symphony. And so when he finished, he could take these little snippets of paper and figure out if they were useful for his symphony. After the war, he was a repetiteur at the Royal Opera and then taught at the Royal Academy and for many years was the music man at St. Paul's Girls School, a famous school of which Gustav Holst and Herbert Howells had been his predecessors. And while he was there, he wrote the piece that's definitely the one people know the most of his called Tomorrow Shall Be My Dancing Day. He wrote many anthems for Plymouth Church. We've done them over the years and we continue to do his music. He also wrote uh, a number of hymns. Um, he was asked back uh, in the 60s that, you know, some of the hymns that we had were just really too stodgy, so that you took an old melody like this. and said, John, couldn't you do something with a hymn? It's the text for Epiphany, brightest and best. And he said, okay. So what he came up with is this, not exactly what you just heard. It was considered scandalous in the 60s to do something like that, but John loved doing it. So John came here several times, once for a performance that we did at the university, Vocal Essence did, of his Mass in D, a piece for orchestra, big chorus, solo alto saxophone and mezzo-soprano, Rita Knazel was our saxophonist and Janice Hardy was our alto soloist. And he composed not only that piece, but he loved coming just because he loved the whole atmosphere and the friendliness of people here in the Twin Cities. Among the many anthems he composed, he did a setting of the Stop at Mater for me, uh, especially for soprano Maria Jetty and the chorus and organ here at Plymouth Church. As the years went along, John had a great affection, I would say, for jazz. And I love this quote of his. As I, as I get older, 
I like jazz more and more and Beethoven less and less. So he composed four little jazz pieces. I wrote to his son Chris and said, what does he have for piano? And he sent these to me. So I'm going to play one of them for you. This one is called Hymn, H-Y-M-N, in which the marking for the tempo is very slow, religioso, but with a beat. Have a wonderful day.